This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Jolt. He is part of Wave 4 of the Deluxe Class uh, line. He comes with uh, the Skids and Mudflap Ice Cream Truck, Blaze Master, and Dead End. Uh, now he, he's, had, he's one of those characters who had a limited screen time in the movie, but nevertheless played a very crucial role to the success of the Autobots against the Decepticons and the Fallen. Uh, quite an interesting character. I mean, the first week this guy was out, he was sold out. Uh, now that they've got stock of him, he's he's not as quick to move as during the first week of his release. And, you know, I can imagine why. Uh, this figure does require a little bit of kibble management. Um, not, as, not as much as Hotshot. Uh, universe hotshot but uh, nevertheless you will need to manage a little bit of his cable uh, yeah. okay let me say by saying let me start by saying if you if you get all the the pieces that you want don't want in the way in the right places you can take full advantage of the articulation of this figure I mean just look at this guy he's got ball jointed hips he's got a swivel knee he even has a secondary knee right here or feet or an ankle joint if you may foot joint and then his his front toes are like on ball joint so you can have him positioned and stabilized very well um, very nice touch on that and mainly due also to his transformation uh, he's got waist articulation very nice uh, shoulder articulation it's on a ball joint a swivel joint that goes up and down and goes in and out he's got bicep rotation and elbow uh, an elbow hinge. Uh, no finger articulation. The head is on a ball joint with limited movement because of this back piece. I don't understand why they had to keep this piece immobile. They could have easily had a, a hinge that allowed it to fold down or something. But anyway, nevertheless, he's still a really mean looking figure. I, I really like this figure. Uh, he's got this spike gimmick or it's supposed to be his electro whips. Uh, let me just see if I can rotate both of them. Okay. And he's supposed to, when Ratchet says, Jolt! Electrify! And then he's, you swivel, you turn this knob, and it's supposed to release it. Like that. Uh, yeah, they look more like spikes, like Deadpool spikes in the movie, in the Wolverine movie, yeah. more than whips. And if you've seen my review on the Robot Heroes, the Robot Heroes whips are a lot longer than this one. So, uh, that's about it. Very nice, very highly detailed figure. I really like it. I mean, you just have to manage some of the kibble, but if, if you get in a good position, this guy's a pretty awesome figure. Oh, uh, and a lot of people have I've noticed this. Uh, he's got translucent chest that matches his, his uh, the windows. In, in car mode so very nice very nice alt mode perhaps even one of my favorites now uh, yeah it's very good he has no well he sort of has a little bit of light piping engineered into the head but it's it just gets nullified because of the paint they put they put some very dark black paint on his eyes to make it stand out so it makes him look like his eyes are dead uh, I don't know but very nice head sculpt, very true to the movie. Autobot symbol here is red and not silver, so very G1 Autobot symbol. So there he is in his robot mode, very nice. One last 360. Let's get him into car mode. Car mode is very simple. Turning him into car mode is very simple. Amazingly, uh, what you want to do is fold the feet first. Yeah, the toes. Oh. Okay. And do this thing first like that and then move up the bumper same thing here move up the bumper and just join the feet together um, okay there's a notch right there that you have to hook I mean the instructions just says tell you the instructions tells you to just pop it apart I mean if you're not careful you're gonna break that that, that piece of tab right there and it's gonna ruin the whole figure so be very careful read the instructions I mean don't I mean, read the instructions, but take it with a grain of salt. That's what I meant. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, what's next? 
just fold up this uh, upper torso part, the shoulder part. Okay, uh, fold in, fold in the whips. We need that in car mode. Okay, and then just sort of align the shoulder pads uh, that will form the windshield, and then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sort of align it, and then just snap it. Okay. All right. And then what you want to do is just fold fold the entire assembly in, uh, like so. Um, yeah. You wanna just tab everything in. It's like a, a puzzle forming a transformer, much like Universe Ironhide, Universe Ratchet. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, but it, it is quite seamless if you get it in the right way. Okay, now let's do this one very quickly now because we're running out of time. Okay, very nice. They, they, it tabs in very well. I, w I was actually surprised. I thought this was going to be another like sideways that doesn't tab in well but uh, they fixed the engineering on this guy and he tabs perfectly so just fold in the hood and the front bumper mm -hmm. okay. uh, a bit of fidgeting and there you have Jolt in his Chevy Volt alt mode uh, if you scrutinize it, you'll get a lot of you'll see a lot of paint discrepancies. Like the unpainted plastic is is a little bit lighter than the painted ones, but still, you know, if if you uh, even if you display it in alt mode, you know, on the shelf, it's not gonna it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna look like one whole piece of blue. Uh, very nice actually. Uh, he looks very compact and stable in alt mode. You, there's a lot of gaps here and there, uh, but uh, it's all forgivable. I wish he had a weapon to just fill in the gap, but uh, I guess the whips, you know, are his weapons, and they just fold in nicely. So anyway, uh, so there he is, Jolt in his alt mode. Uh, excellent robot mode. Uh, excellent alt mode. This figure is just amazing. Uh, I think he's as good as the ice cream truck, if not better. Uh, if you like the twins, you gotta get the ice, ice cream truck. But you know, even if you don't like this guy, but but you you do want to complete your set, or you just you, you're quite interested and curious about him, I say pick him up. Uh, I I honestly think you will not be disappointed. I think you will even be quite impressed with this figure. So there you go, Revenge of the Fallen Jolt. Thanks for watching.